I first met Bash, it was mainly through his carer. She contacted me and said, look, I've got this young Afghan refugee who uh, is mad about cricket. Straight line, straight line. He was a shy, quiet, reserved young boy who spoke very little, almost no English. If you consider from where he's come from uh, and, and the journey that he's gone through to get to where he is now, it has been heartbreaking, it has been tragic. And it started as a young boy in Afghanistan, but all he did was land in, uh, in this country. He's now a member of the Thetford Academy. He's wonderfully settled in. Oh, no. First day of school, I watched some people. I'm coming to England, no, no people here, no my family here, no, everything is not just him. Play cricket, home, back home, school, back home, it's cricket. And so, wow, it's a very really amazing game. Play that. Within about three or four weeks, rather than just being a participant, he actually asked me if he could do some coaching. And he just took it off. It was wonderful. Bash taught me skills like how to fast bowl. He was mainly the one that actually helped me bowl and I'm now bowler of the year twice. Bash is inspirational because if you're down, like if you're calm and you're down, he would help you like get back up again. And I think with cricket, it's just helped him grow as a person. I think it's just brought his attitude back up. And he gets involved and he's cheeky and he's got character and he's, and it's great to see. He's opposite. <laughs> and the confidence that he's gained through cricket and through street has allowed his confidence to grow and he mixes with his peers now in school, he mixes with uh, peers outside of school, so he's now got a life beyond cricket, but that life came from cricket. You can't help but just absolutely love Bash.